I just, um, I found out how to do this, what I just showed you, and I just wanted to show you how to do it too, um, in case you're interested and you thought that looked cool too. Um, it's really easy, it's just, you, uh, here, let me delete this for educational purposes. Um, this is how the picture looks in the original, and then you open the adjustments, um, bit, um, the adjustments tab, I think it's called, in Photoshop, and you click on hue slash saturation. Here, this one, like, here, right here. There you go, now you have a hue saturation, um, mask thing going on. And now you can just go up here with the hue slider and slide around, um, <laughs> slide around the hues and then it'll create this, um, effect. Now I'm pretty sure the, this exact effect that you're seeing here probably won't happen with, with most drawings, um, cause, uh, you can see here what I did is pretty abstract and like it's it's very blotchy. <laughs> it's it's just I don't know. Um <laughs> with stuff that's more clean, like Gina down here, it'll just it'll change the hue too, but in a more um not as psychedelic looking way. Like, <laughs> it'll just fade from one hue to the next, whereas with this thing going on here, it's just, whoa, all over the place. And like, yeah, <laughs> just thought it was neat. So, you know, since I'm putting this on YouTube, uh, why not share? how I arrived at the result. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I really hope you enjoy wacky color shifting um, drawings in Photoshop as much as I do. And I hope you have a good day. And goodbye.